Hi, my name is Janelle, and I'm a librarian in the Maricopa County Library District. If you like to read or listen to books and music, but can't always get to the library, our electronic resources are a great solution, always available and very portable. Today, I'm going to highlight some items on Hoopla, specifically for children from about ages three to 12. At the end, I'll give a quick overview of how to set up your account if you haven't already done that. I'm in my Hoopla account and I have clicked on the word kids at the top so that everything I see is designed for kids. I'm using a tablet for this demonstration, so your view may look a little different if you're using a computer or a phone, but all the same features are available. Hoopla is great to use on portable devices like phones and tablets because they allow you to take the library with you wherever you go. To look for something specific, just click on the search icon. Type in a title, author, or other keyword. I've typed Bruce, and now I'll click on Mother Bruce, and I can see that we have several options in this fun series. The search button is great when you know what you want, but the main purpose of this video is to show you the variety that Hoopla has to offer. So I'm going to work from the format buttons across the middle of my screen. Let's start with eBooks. These are books that you read yourself. As you can see, we have everything from beginning reader books to nonfiction books to chapter books. Picture books are especially good on a tablet or computer because you can read them just like you would a picture book from the library. A Bad Case of the Stripes by David Shannon is a classic picture book. When I click borrow, it automatically downloaded it to my tablet so I can read it anywhere, even offline. If it doesn't automatically download the book to your device, just scroll down and find a button that says Download to Device. You can see that it looks just like a picture book page spread. And to turn the page, I simply swipe my finger across. Some picture books I like on Hoopla are If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, and Early Readers Based on Favorite Characters, and the Bad Seed series, which I recently discovered also has early reader books as well. Some of the picture books also have a read-along feature. I found a large array of stories produced by Disney, as well as books by cherished authors like Doreen Cronin of the Click Clack Moo Farm Animal books. There are also quite a few books that have historical fiction relevance, like Finding Winnie by Lindsay Maddock. As a side note, Except for the Disney read-alongs, most of these are showing up as movies, which means they have a shorter checkout time. These read-alongs are different from audiobooks in that they show the pages and words as they are read, whereas audiobooks are simply an audio track of the text with no visuals. Beginning chapter books are also great to read on Hoopla because they include illustrations and text. The Mercy Watson series is just one of many fantastic transitional series for kids who are moving into chapter books. Here are a few more of my favorites that can be found on the Hoopla eBooks. The Bad Guys, Ivy and Bean, Dragon Masters, My Weird School, and Flat Stanley. As we move into chapter books, Hoopla offers a number of very popular series, such as Harry Potter, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Percy Jackson, Warriors, and I Survived. Along with some classics and well-loved older series such as Little House on the Prairie, The Boxcar Children, and The Chronicles of Narnia. Hoopla also has a vast collection of non-fiction e-books that are exact replicas of items we have in our physical library collection. They make great resources for school projects and assignments. Diagrams in books like this one really help to demonstrate the concept. The nonfiction collection includes sports, science, places, careers, biographies, history, and more, as well as how-to books and gaming guides for cooking, arts and crafts, magic, Minecraft, Lego, and much, much more. 
Another popular category of ebooks in Hoopla are comics and graphic novels. These can be read page by page or frame by frame. A few comic series you'll find are Sonic the Hedgehog, Big Nate, The Tea Dragon Society, Superhero Series, and Star Wars. There are also a number of book series that have been converted to graphic novels, including Percy Jackson, Artemis Fowl, The Babysitter's Club, and Wings of Fire. Now let's take a look at audiobooks. These are especially good for long car rides or just around town. Be sure to download to device before leaving home. As audiobooks, beginning chapter books can be great for preschool and early elementary kids who aren't quite reading them yet. Some great series would be Dory Phantasmagory, Ramona Quimby, My Weird School, and Avon Green. Hoopla has a vast selection of popular chapter book series like The Lemonade War, The Menagerie by Tui T. Sutherland, Across the Desert, and other books with an Arizona setting by Dusty Bowling, Unwanted by Lisa McMahon, Dork Diaries, and The Diaries of Alex and Steve. These two Minecraft audiobooks are not available in our physical library. You can only get them on Hoopla. I just want to touch on music and movies in Hoopla. These are great for travel near and far. Again, you'll want to be sure to download to device before leaving home. You'll find movie and show soundtracks, kids bop albums, which are kid-friendly versions of pop music, and popular music that is made for kids by artists Raffi, Lori Berkner Band, and some classic nursery rhymes and lullabies. Movies include family movie hits, both live action and animated, as well as animated videos of picture books. I particularly like the animated picture books because they are short videos and kids find them very engaging. I hope this overview of Hoopla for kids helps spur your use of this extensive resource. To get started with Hoopla, you can either download the Hoopla app on a phone or tablet, or access Hoopla from our website. For directions on adding Hoopla to your devices, go to our homepage at mcldaz.org and click on eMedia using online resources. For more personalized help with Hoopla on your device, stop by one of our libraries and any of our customer service staff will be glad to assist you. Thanks for watching. I hope this has provided you with some new ways to get more from your library card, or at least has given you some suggestions for some new reads.